in Milton with Anna. I'm on the core group of 10 people who are responsible for the administration of the COVID support group. Each of us has the phone for three days once a month and we help um, assign jobs to our 160 volunteers uh, from the residents of the village. Um, we, we put a leaflet through every door in the village so people know the phone number and email to get support. Now, excellent volunteer groups in both Over and Willingham and I've been giving them as much help and support as I can. They, they really are very effective uh, and uh, successful volunteer groups. In the last few days I've been speaking with small businesses in my ward to remind them that they could be eligible for government grants to get them through the crisis. With some success I'm pleased to say. And finally, as lead member for environmental services and licensing, I'm also heavily involved in the phased reintroduction of the Green Waste Service. And uh, this has been very well received. And of course, there is the usual casework, which never stops. This is our COVID-19 support scheme that we have here in Barhill. And what we've got is we're giving advice to over 200 people uh, in benefits, employment and debt. And we have a CAB advisor here who can give all this information. We've got people who will do shopping for residents for food and prescription, advice on mental health. We've got at least 12 residents accessing that. We have an extensive food bank for residents and over the village we've got 115 volunteers uh, to do the delivering. We've got 15 volunteer drivers and now we're looking to translate this information into Polish and Romanian. Tony Mason, Ian Solom and I are the three district councillors for the nine parishes of Harston and Combaton Ward. There's been a tremendous response from volunteers across the ward and it's our job to make sure the right information gets passed on to the various volunteer groups and the parish councils who've all been working so hard to help people during this crisis. Just earlier today I was on a Zoom call with a dozen or so other members of the advisory group of the Trumpington Covid Volunteer Network which also included county councillors and city councillors because of course we're all working together even across various districts and council boundaries to make sure that everyone gets the help they need during this crisis. With my district council colleagues I've been supporting the Covid groups that have evolved in Milton, spearheaded by the church, and in Land Beach, led by the parish council. I'm on the Milton coordination rotor, taking calls and emails and matching them up with volunteers. And it's really heartening to see how many people have volunteered in both villages to offer practical help and sometimes a friendly phone call to residents who are self-isolating or alone. I'm also on the ground collecting prescriptions and shopping for both villages and everyone receiving our help has been enormously grateful. I'm sharing information from the County Council with all the groups as well.